Good day everyone. This is a short video on BSI Simeon Automation System. Every one is a little bit different. This particular one is, um, let's go up here and find out. You can go to the help menu and it'll go to help and about. It will tell you which one it is. This is a 2.3.4 version of BSI Simeon Pro. So yours might be just a teeny bit different, but the, the way we do it is essentially the same. This is actually an operating system right now. It's broadcasting. However, I put a second instant of uh, the BSI up, and that's why you see none of the players are uh, lit up. So <clears throat> first, the most important thing you have to understand is that nothing will play on uh, Simeon unless the files, the audio files, are in SoundHound. And SoundHound is a method, a, a place where all of the, the spots are organized in what they refer to as an audio MDB file. In this particular case, these are the uh, folders that are in SoundHound on this computer. First one is carts, and second one's cuts, elements, IDs, programs, spots 30, spots 60, and utilities. It is always good when you put these in, in here to uh, make sure that they are, uh, uh, well, never, no, never any apostrophes, never any underlined spaces. It's uh, no matter how you put them in, you see how everything is all together. Now, the other thing that's important is there should never be any dupes. Over here, you see there's 67 files in this computer, 40 five WAV files, 16 carts, four MP3 files, and no dupes. If there is a dupe, that means that there's a duplicate copy of a particular audio file or audio cut. That's not a good thing. So you want to make sure there are no, no dupes. If there were dupes, it would show up and you would be able to tell which ones they are and then go in and get rid of one of the dupes. It's as simple as that. But one more time. Nothing will play unless the audio files that you're trying to play are in one of these files. You can be anywhere else in the computer. It's still not going to play. It has to be in one of these files in SoundHound. And the way you get the SoundHound is go down to the bottom of your computer. In this case, this is a Windows 10. And you go a little arrow up and you go to the binoculars. Left click on the binoculars. And bingo, there are the files that are in there. I'm not going to tell you today how to put files in and take them out because for the moment we're only dealing with putting spots in carts, taking spots out of carts, putting spots on the logs. All right, so now let's do this. We get out of here, and we're going to take a look at uh, something here on the log. Let's take a look at uh, Gold uh, 60A over here. So I'm going to click on there. I'm going to right-click on it. And I'm going to click Edit Info. Now that's when you hit Edit Info, it brings the, the the cart up, and the cart will show you that these there are these three spots in that cart, these three audio files, and they're 59 seconds long. If you right-click on that, it will take you to the Event Builder. Over here is the Event Builder. Now, if you have the Event Builder, it has a various things you can look at various folders you can look at. And those are all the folders that you just saw when I showed you about SoundHound. For the moment, you want to make sure it's on all folders. And you want to be able to sort, above that, sort uh, by file name. All righty. Now, you want to find one of these files. You want to make sure the file is there. Right-click on it. Left-click on Event Builder. And there it is, down there. Uh, illuminate, uh, illuminated in blue. And that shows you that it's there. If you wanted to take one of these files out of this cart, all you do is click on the click on the file and hit the cut button and it will go away. It will not go out of SoundHound. It will stay in SoundHound over here. It will just come out of this cart. If you want to put something into this cart, you just get, grab a hold of it over here. 
left click on that so it highlights and drag it over and put it into the cart now that's fine i've just added that into the cart i want to take it out click on it again hit cut notice that there are no signs in front of any of these files these cuts these audio uh, audio files if i chose to put a plus sign in there like so now what's going to happen is this 50 second this spot up here the, the right above it this 58 second spot is going to play and then next one will play immediately following that so if you say hey man i can't believe it i'll put the spot in and play two spots why did it do that it played two spots because you said play that one and play this one next if you put another spot under here with a plus sign it will play all three of them together now probably you don't want to do that there, there are a couple of cases where you do something like that and that's in a 30 second uh, in a 60 second cart like he, like this one is but you want to put two 30s in together so then you would do it that way but when you're removing like for example uh, one of our stations had they put a whole bunch of different cuts into a cart, which they were playing Christmas opens and Christmas closes and Christmas bumper music. Fine, drag them over, put them in. They're still in Soundhound. They haven't gone anywhere. Do not eliminate anything from Soundhound that you intend to continue to play on the air eventually. If it's not in Soundhound, it will not play. So to, uh, to verify your log and make sure that everything is where it's supposed to be, you go up to uh, Log up top here, left-click on that, and Verify Log. Click Verify Log. And then you want to hit the Verify Log, and it's going to zip through there. And this one went very fast because it's an extremely fast computer. It says there's no errors discovered on the log. If there were errors, they would highlight in red. They would show you in red where they are. Now, because if you turn your computer on and you notice that there are some red lines on the computer, it doesn't necessarily mean that, let's say, for example, uh, gold card A is what would be highlighted in red. The first thing you would do is go to the event builder and see if gold 60A is there. Well, yeah, it is. It's showing up that it's there. Now, the next thing that would go wrong is it would still highlight red if you had a cart in here. We're going to go here. We're going to right-click, bring up the cart. There's the cart. If one of these files were missing, if one of these files were in the cart like it is here, but it wouldn't be in SoundHound, that means you, you put it in here, but you took it out of the, say, the elements folder where 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 it lives it would still be in the cart but it wouldn't play because it won't play unless you can see it on soundhound it you have to always be able to see whatever you're playing on this log in soundhound but as i said before this is so important the most important thing you can learn from everything i'm telling you here right now is go down here and check your soundhound and this is where you place all of your spots. All of your spots live in these things. Now, in, in this particular case, like in the case of Phil's gang, all of his programs probably live in a program folder. And uh, you can have you can have more uh, files in in Soundhound if you wish. I try, I'm trying to keep this computer very simple. Carts, for example, I put all my carts in one file in. Uh, 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 in the uh, Soundhound. And I'll explain to you why in just a second. <clears throat> now, you may have cuts. You may have some cuts you want to play. Well, you don't because you guys use Stinger at, at uh, Phil's Gang. But in this particular case, we do stick cuts in here, things that come and go. Everything must be in one of these folders. If it's not in one of those folders, it will not play. So let me go back here one more time. And I'm going to go back to, um, uh, let's see here. Well, here's an, here's an ID card, for example. Let me bring that up. 
So it's an ID card, and you can also see it's it's labeled uh, uh, the Revolution Radio Network. That's very important. And I, I have to tell you, you guys, everybody seems to think that you have to identify what the file is, the audio file. Remember, there's audio files. That's the recording, the actual recording. And there are carts. You put audio files in carts to play. Now, here's the ID. I'm going to right click on the ID. I'm going to hit edit, info. It's going to show you that's in this title and information is where you put what it really is. Now you can see exactly what it is. When you put things in in a in uh, audio files in here, and it looks like this. Let me go to bring this one up here. Well, I, I've sort of identified what that is because there's the file name down there. But there's no title. There's no artist. There's no description. That's a bad plan. Every time you put something in, you should identify it. I've noticed on a lot of the things that Phil's gang, it'll be labeled uh rj2 rj3 rj well we know probably that means it's a rejoin uh but it would be probably good if you said a little bit more about it uh in that uh, title and description now for you stations that are looking at this and uh using your metadata that's where all of your metadata lives as well uh these were, I prefer to use a naming convention and number everything and then give it a name because as you can see, there's no name up here. There's no nothing. You don't really know what this is. Uh, the only way you have a clue as to what it is, it says crime home. So, and that's way too long. It shouldn't be as long as it is here. It should All of your file names, when you create a file, should be the, the, the rule is supposed to be uh, eight letters and numbers together, any combination of eight letters and numbers, no capitals, no spaces, no apostrophes, no underlines, just everything all together. And so I violated some of those rules here in this computer. Well, I haven't personally violated it, so whoever has been working on this has. Now, again, here's a, uh, an audio cut called America. At least they made the file name America, which you can see right here. And then they also went up here and labeled it America. So as soon as you bring it up, you know that that's the name of that particular song. But once again, the most important thing I need to point out to you, let me go to, um, let me go to yet something else here that may have more files in it. Um, uh, let's see here. Well, here is the uh, playback cart. There's only only going to be a couple files in there. Once again, <clears throat> the, the, there are three. The, this is playing back at this man's programs. So uh, as you can see, there are 52, 48, 52, 54, 52, 52. And uh, so we drag those over there. Now, the, this is the naming convention I used for these. And it's J, uh, J S stands for uh, Jeff uh, Santos, and then we put made some form of a date hour number one eleven o eight sixteen. <clears throat> so all of them really work that way. Now these, as you can see, are are properly labeled here. So when we bring this up, and we bring it up in here. We will be able to see in the title and description, it's the Jeff Santos archive shows and no calls please at this time. Well, in the, in the way we do our streaming, our audio streaming for people to look at on their iPhones and in their computers, whenever this show is playing, it says it's the Jeff Santos archive shows and don't call in now because if they're listening to it and they hear they say well give us a call here's our phone number well there isn't going to be anybody there because this is a playback show now this is where you would also put a live phone number if it were a live show you would put it in in, in here and this becomes part of the metadata i'm getting off onto a tangent here because that's a whole different set of circumstances the whole purpose of this video is to show you if, if you don't want this show to play, this particular show, th these are going to play sequentially. Let me go let me go show you the cart properties. And this particular cart, this is set up to play these programs sequentially. That means 
This will play first. This will be played again. Then well, this will play, and it'll start over, and it'll play that one, that one, and that one. Or you can come down here, and you can click on this button, randomize, and then it will randomize them, and it will play this one, that one, that one. But it'll never, it'll never play the three in the same order it played it the last time. So it will always keep trying to juggle them around so that they are in random fashion. When you put things, when you build a cart, the, the cart basic cart uh, device, you give it a time. Here's the time down here. This is no bearing on how it actually operates. It just gives you a clue when you look at it that everything in here should be 5250. But if you, for example, at Phil's Gang, when you're playing your... Uh, your bumpers or your rejoins, you probably want them randomized. So you would click this button. Now, if you need to have more than two things to randomize something, most obviously, because it can't randomize two things. It's just going to play the same two every time. If you have 15 or 20 things in there, it's going to randomize those 15 or 20 things. It's a good idea to randomize your rejoins and your bumpers. Uh, they're, they're probably very important to random, ram, randomize. That I would suggest you do that. The other thing that you can do, click on here, click on here. Now, if I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to uh, uh, something small, like down here. You can go in and click on Edit Audio. And if you need to make some, make a quick edit on a piece of audio, you can just click on that. It will bring up your audio editor. In this case, we're do, using Audacity, and right there it is. Now it shows you exactly how long it is and so forth. If you needed to edit a piece of that, you can do so. Hopefully, your computer will have <clears throat> a little speaker connected to the USB <clears throat> and your Simeon computer that you can audition very quickly without bringing it up on a board or anything and make the appropriate edit. Just make sure that when you save it, when you finished editing and you save it, it overwrites the one that was there before. Make sure it doesn't go to another uh, uh like it doesn't go to programs or something and stick it back in. And if it does that, you're going to have a duplicate cart. But again, I'm getting off the subject. We're only talking about something very, very simple here. You had Christmas in this cart. You had, let's go to a, let's go to a, a, a gold cart. Uh, everybody says, why, why gold, Ron? Why, why it's gold? Or to me, gold is kind of important. Here's a gold B cart. We're going to open up the gold B cart. going to right click. And left click on edit info. It's going to bring up the cart. There are only two things in that particular cart. But if I had a whole bunch of Christmas spots in here that I wanted to take out, all I would do is just click on them and hit cut, 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 get rid of them, leave these. You have to have something in the cart or it won't play. So I hope this clarifies things. But if you take it out of SoundHound and one of those file folders in SoundHound, if you take something out of we're going back here one more time. If you take anything out of here, go to the binoculars. Anything out of any one of your file folders in SoundHound, and these are the only things that are in SoundHound, and all the spots that are going to play in your Simeon are going to be in one of these folders. If you take anything out of here, and then you intend to play it on it, it. First, it will not show up on SoundHound in your event builder if it's not there. It won't show up. But if it was there, you removed it from. If it was in SoundHound, you put it into a cart. But you didn't remove it from the cart, but you did remove it from one of these file folders in SoundHound. It's not going to play on the air. And that's exactly what took place the other day at Phil's Gang. So I hope this is helpful, and uh, let's take a look at it and see how it works. And then we'll – this is supposed to be two minutes long, and it turns out to be 19 minutes and 24 seconds. So apologize for that. Give it a try. Let me know if it works out for you.